what this video is for and it's for the NYX uh, Face Awards for the 2016 and I'm super super excited about this. Um, I've wanted to do it for some years now but just never thought like you know I've had enough of a following or enough subscribers to do it and I still don't think I have you know that many but I just wanted to see what happens this year. Um, so I created this look for you. It's like a rose golden goddess. I did mix rose gold and gold together and I actually like the mixture um, more than I thought I would. So um, yeah, but if you guys can definitely um, like this video, make sure that you share it on Facebook, Instagram, anything like that. Anything helps and I would really appreciate all of your guys' support right now. If you guys can just um, I guess share the video with everyone, family, friends, whatever. Um, but anyways, this was the completed look that I did for you guys. I am super excited about it. It was definitely way more dramatic than any of my other makeup looks that I've done in a while. But if you guys wanted to see how I got this look, please continue to watch and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So to start off this look, I already do have foundation on and I'm going to start with concealing my face just because this is going to be more of a dramatic look. So I'm wanting to get underneath the eyes before the eyeshadow and here I'm using NYX HD concealer and I'm just going to be putting that in the highlighted areas on the face and blending it all out. So to make sure that the eyes stay clean and crisp, I'm going to be laying down a piece of um, tape and what you're going to want to do is kind of stick that on your hand a couple times just so it's not as harsh when you pull it off. And then I'm going to be going in with one of the NYX matte eyeshadow which is called Retrail which is a dark uh, matte brown color and I'm going to be taking a very small brush and kind of making a crease line at the top of my lid a little bit over my crease just because I'm wanting the lid area to be a little bit more bigger than my actual lid and then I'm just gonna start blending that all out the goal to a perfect cut crease is just blending and blending so it does take a little bit longer than any normal eyeshadow look would take but to get the perfect look you just have to keep blending and I'm just going to keep going in and with different brushes and keep blending out that line until it's perfect. Once you get that cut crease line perfect and what you want to do is keep the line closest to the lid darker and then blend it out. Once that is done I'm going to go in with my highlight and I'm going to be taking one of the NYX loose pearl eyeshadows and I'm going to be laying that right underneath the eyebrow. And this one is called Nude Pelt Gold Shimmer. It's just a really nice kind of champagne shimmer color. After that's done, it's time for the fun part, which is the lid, and in the outer three corners of the lid, I am going to be starting off with the NYX Loose Powder, and this one is in a yellow gold, and basically these items are the majority of the items I'm going to be using for the rest of the look. They are very blendable eyeshadows that I love so much but very pigmented. So after the gold is done, I'm going to be going in with the NYX Loose um, Eyeshadow again and this one's just a really pretty rose gold color and I'm just going to be laying that all over the lid and extending it to the inner corner of my eye.
for this look I wanted to do a pretty dramatic eyeliner graphic liner look and NYX matte liquid liner is so perfect for this because the wand on it is very easable, easy to move and um, it just glides on super well for these precise details. So what I'm going to do is start um, lining the top lash line and making a cat eye effect and I'm going to be going a little bit more onto the inner corner of the eye and then I'm going to basically doing the same thing on the bottom kind of following what I did at the top with extending it in the inner corner of the eye and then extending it also um, on the outer corner of the eye just to mimic what's on the top. So once the eyeliner is done, I did leave a gap between my lash line and the eyeliner on the lower lash. So what I'm going to do is be going in with a very thin brush and I'm going to be picking up that same NYX loose powder, that rose gold color. And I'm just going to be filling that in where the gap is with the eyeliner and the lower lash line. Obviously to complete this look we need false lashes and once I apply those I'm going to be going in with the NYX Pin Up Tease Mascara and just blending in my natural lashes with the false lashes and then I will be going onto the lower lash line and putting mascara onto those as well. So for the highlight and contour of this video, I will be using a mixture of the loose pearl eyeshadows for fix, the ones that I use on my lid, which is that gold and that rose gold color. So to start out with, I will be taking the darkest of that rose gold color, and I'm just going to be putting that in where the contour areas are, which is underneath the cheekbones, around the forehead, temple area, around the nose, and underneath the chin. I also will be extending that down to where my chest is and the shoulders. Once I have that laid down I will be going in with that gold and um, putting that right on top of that rose gold color just to mix it together and kind of giving it more a flawless and blended look and I will be using the gold mostly in areas where you highlight which is down the bridge of the nose, the high cheekbones, the cupid's bow um, and I will be using that gold in those areas.
more, I'm going to be applying the NYX Face and Body Glitter, and this one is in yellow gold. And I will be taking a cosmetic sponge and kind of spraying the area with a setting spray as well as the sponge just to help it sit on my skin better and hold to my skin. So I'm just going to be putting that down on the neck area a little bit on the chest and the shoulders. So lastly for the look, I'm going to be doing my lips and I'm going to obviously be blending in a rose gold and a gold just to tie in the whole look together. So I'm going to be doing an ombre effect on my lips and what I'm going to do is start out with the gold on the outer rim of the lips and then I'm going to go in with that rose gold color in the middle of it. And I'm going to be using the same loose powder eyeshadow for the lips as well and just patting that down with a flat brush. So to complete this goddess look, I wanted to apply these crystals on the forehead which I think gives it that look and I just love how it turned out which is my favorite part of the look and I'm just going to be applying that on my forehead as well as in the inner corner of the tear duct where the makeup ends. Mm -hmm. So after the crystals are on, that will be the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this look. And again, make sure to vote for me and like my video and share my video and come back and watch it over and over so the next team will see it. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I'll see you in my next video.